be like, how hard can it be? What the shoot? I kind of got the wrench stuck. Like this doesn't feel like a vacation to me, Ma. So, yum. Perfect. Look what I got in the mail. I'm so excited. I'll just find a million reasons not to do it because I know it's brought me sadness in the past. It's Tuesday. I just got out of the shower, blow dried my hair like partially, not the full way. I look so pasty. Y'all, yeah, I'm just feeling, feeling a bummy day today. And bummy day, I mean, I've already had a pretty bummy day. Oh, my skin is like freaking out because I'm like, I don't get my period because I have an IUD. Um, but I still like get the same symptoms like tired, achy, boobies, <laughs> acne. Um, so I took a shower, I washed my hair, I did a sheet mask, some nice hydrating skincare. I'm trying to uh, export a video that's taking, it's taken well over two hours already and it still says it has two hours left and I'm like, why? So, um, <laughs> I, don't know, I don't know what's going on. What's going on with you? Um, I have a hair appointment on Wednesday and I think I'm gonna go like significantly shorter, maybe like an inch and a half, two inches, cause this length is just not doing it for me anymore. Obviously it's grown up quite a bit. Um, but anyway, I just got a bunch of packages from Amazon and by bunch, I think I got three. In our old bathroom, we had this sprayer thing and I used it to specifically wash Arlo, but then I started using it to wash wrinkles. And um, last time I took Miss Wrinkles to the dog wash place near Target Bentley, she got the diarrhea and I don't want to deal with that again. So I just bit the bullet and bought the little hose thing and I'll just do it here because I have like a drain catcher. And uh, yeah, I bought it and it came in the mail. So I have to set it up. I didn't set up the last one Scott did. I'm pretty sure I can fix fit it figure it out because I mean I, I replaced my mirror on my car. <laughs> Everyone I tell that story to they're very surprised and I'm like mm, same. So we're gonna attempt to put that in to be able to wash Miss Winnie because a couple things. Miss Winnie is losing her her winter coat. She hasn't been brushed in a long time. I hate it. I hate brushing her. But it's kind of nice out. It's I'm 45 but it's sunny. <laughs> Figured we could like walk around a little bit to dry her off or I'll just bring a blow dryer downstairs or in the bathroom Anyhow, um Wash her because she's losing her like winter coat and then miss Winnie had like some cluster warts like underneath her collar and I got some wart stuff for it and treated her warts well The warts fell off like they came off, but there was like a patch of just like raw skin essentially so I've been putting nail sporn on it and like it's starting to um, heal and um, I need to like clean the area because it's just getting kind of it's just crusty there's like a lot of like scabs like in her fur and stuff that I was using a towel to like wipe away but I feel like I just need to like give it a little rinse down so she hates baths but she needs to get one I need to like trim her nails trim her feet do the whole nine and then I'll give her a little treat you know but uh yeah she needs it because in two weeks, she's going over to the dog sitters, and I just kind of want to get, like, two good brushes in her, because she's most definitely losing a lot of her hair. So, that's the plan. That's what we're going to get up to today. I also got some new sheets that I want to wash and put on our bed. Oh, is there anything better than new bedding? So, I'm going to do that today. the shower head thingy majiggy that I'm gonna put in. We're gonna put that in together. What else did I do? Oh yeah. Nothing that exciting. Swim diapers for Lito Man. Um for a swim class. And then I also need to um get some more pull-ups for daycare because he's out of pull-ups as well. For sleeping. Um, and then I got this guy. I decided not to get the one that I still have in my car and haven't returned yet. 
Um, and anyway, I got this, like, I ordered it a couple days ago, a while ago, a week ago, and it showed another house it was delivered to, and my crazy butt walked over to that person's house, because I could tell by the doormat what was out front. And they just snatched up my package. They did not try to deliver it to me. So Amazon was nice and bought, gave me another one. So this is a Cost RX. Snail Muse in essence. But anyhow, let's figure out what I need. Hey, Miss Crinkles. She's like, I like you now, but I don't think I'm gonna sue. Um, I gotta find out which tools I need to, uh, Remove the shower arm. Turn off the water supply in the bathroom? I don't need to do that. Remove shower head from the shower arm. Apply on tape, I have that. All right, let's just try it out, shall we? Okay. I feel like the lighting in this bathroom is so yellow. <laughs> but um, anyway, I'm going to to do this I feel like how hard can it be let's go down and find a tool Scott gets really annoyed with me when I call him when he's at work but this is the thing he will call me and talk to me about golf or like send me golf stuff all day and I'm like you have the time to do that but you don't have the time to talk to me about things I need that's when he's like I'm busy and I'm like convenient convenient all right Let's look for a tool that I think would fix this. Would fix this, cause I don't. Let's hope to know. If I could make a guess, I feel like it would be not the paper towel. This. Or that. Right. I think I got it. I love how people are like when they don't know. I mean, he knows I know nothing. I mean, I know a decent amount of tools, but not a lot. He's like the adjustable wrench. Well, there's like 17 things that look like an adjustable wrench. I think this is the winner. Mostly because I Googled it. <laughs> Let's attempt. Ooh. Oh, man down. I feel like water's gonna come spilling out at me. That's why it says shut the water off. But you act like I know how to do that. I think it's behind the toilet, but that's just the toilet water. I don't think that's all the waters. The last time this thing was used was when we really came to visit. We're good. Awesome. You know the worst part about doing this is if you paint your nails, forget about it. Because you're like picking and scrubbing and just a mess. You know about this tape, you want to keep it nice and flat. And this helps like with gripping and I believe it helps with leaking. Uh, but that's a guess. All right, perfect. Okay, we fret. Now let's apply this diverter head. My only thought is how do I know if it's gonna start or end, where it's gonna start or end. You know? All right, here we go. Here goes nada. No, it keeps ending up, I guess it's not the end of the world, but I don't want it to do that. What the shoot? It's really not working with me. It wants to shoot out this way and I don't know how to change that. So I guess it's not getting changed. <clears throat> Okay, now I can't get it off. <laughs> Oops. I went and done did it now. At least I'm not in my bathroom this time, right? I kind of got the wrench stuck. I truly think Scott gets worried when I decide to do these projects on my own. There is when he's probably just gonna run away from me the minute she knows something's going on. I don't see her and normally she's like by my side. She's like, I know this lady's up to no good. 
Yeah, she shouldn't leave. <sighs> I need to revisit that. She was looking at me, now she refuses to look at me. <laughs> Oh boy. I say, I'm having a rough day. I just want to have a relaxing day. Takes on this. I forgot these. Should read directions more carefully. I done shot myself in the face. Oh my God. <laughs> I'm out of here. I'm out of here. All right. I have a teeny tiny like drippy leak, but you know what? Just, I can't be bothered, so I'm not gonna do it. Um, I need to go eat some lunch because I'm starving, and then I'll come back. I, I hope I have dog shampoo. I didn't even look. All right, I'm fed. It's time. I'm whispering as if she can hear me because she's pretty deaf, so she can't. I know Chicky Lou. She's like, what is my life? Why doing it to me, mama? It's always bath time, okay? It's really sticky. You're really hairy. And when she smells good, we sink. I'll do it nice and warm, okay? Okay, deal? I love you, but you're you stinky look a little old lady. All right. Oh, poor chicken. She's like, what have you done? What did I do to deserve this mother? It's okay. I do it nice and warm for you, okay? Nice and warm, does that sound nice? Oh, this smells like coconut. Like you're on a tropical vacation. She's like, this doesn't feel like a vacation to me, Ma. My whole upstairs smells like a dog right now. It's pretty gnarly, but um, I finished giving Miss Winkles a bath. She did pretty good, honestly. Um, <clears throat> and her Boo Boo is healing up really well, so I'm gonna put some more Neosporin on that tonight. And um, she's out on the porch. Let's see if she's actually chilling. No, she, she won't. I have to ignore her nose marks all over the door. You lay out there and chill, okay? Does he eat your bone? She just gets out there for a while. I just don't want her to lose her bone. <laughs> Good morning, you guys. Happy Wednesday. It's a big old filming day. It's around, almost nine o'clock. I'm ready except for mascara. Um, and I'm gonna be doing, I think I have, <laughs> I'm gonna sit down. I have three, I have a mess in my room. That's what I do have. I wanna film three videos today, I think, at least. Um, I took the day off at the gym because I haven't had like a legit uh, rest day in a while and I think I need to prioritize it. So I'm feeling a little bit better today. Yesterday I was like, Lord, I was like looking back at the footage. I'm like, sorry, you had to look at that for so long. We're going to cut a lot of it out. Um, Miss Wrinkles doing good over there, huh? She needs another brush in. I gave her a brush this or last night, but oh. So today I'm gonna film, film, film. I'm going to make my bed um, because I have to like wash the sheets and put all that on, which I'll do with you guys. And then tonight I think I'm gonna do this Kung Pao chicken recipe that Rock Your Body did on her Instagram. So I think I'm gonna make that chinarch and uh, I'll show you guys. I'll do a little cook with me sort of thing because I haven't done one in a little while. And then I really need to get on 
gathering all my stuff for my spring capsule wardrobe, which I want to do next week, I think. But I'm just waiting for so many random things to come in. 99% of the time, this is what my outfits look like. <laughs> Sweatpants on the bottom and a nice shirt on top because that's all I do to film. So let's go throw my sheets in the washing machine because I want to get them going while I'm filming. I've got a mess to pick up. And then my mess travels out here. I'm just the mess. <laughs> So I'm getting ready to film and I don't have enough space to put all this stuff here. So I normally just throw it on Arla's bed and I walked in and look how sick this is. Scott did that. I mean, those aren't that cool, but that, what? That's so cool. <laughs> walrus. Oh, probably because the walrus on the ground. That's so sick, dude. He's so talented. Sorry, there's like a light in there. This is like a chalkboard bed. I'm impressed, Scott. You're pretty cool, man. But yeah, I just threw my crap on Arl's bed. Alrighty, it's one o'clock. I'm getting hungry. I'm gonna switch off my Apple Watch because I'm probably gonna go for a walk after I have lunch. But I figured I would share with you what I've been eating for lunch and meal preps and kind of why I've liked this so far. Honestly, I've only eaten it two other days, so we'll see. I don't think I'm making the same thing next week, but probably a, I don't know. I never get sick of taco flavored things because I love tacos, so. Let me go downstairs and share with you what I'm gonna make because I'm hungry. It's one o'clock and your girl needs to eat. So let's do that and then I'm gonna go for a nice little walk. It does say it's pretty cold outside. 30, 37 degrees, but the sun is shining. So I feel like it's not that bad. So let's do it. Well, before I do that though, let's switch over to this laundry. So I can make my bed in a little bit. If you want to see my overall video, just wait. Yes, I'm wearing overalls. <laughs> I'm okay with it. So I'm debating if I want to have it plain or if I want to have it on a salad again. I had it on a salad yesterday and loved it. I would have it on chips, but I don't have any tortillas. So let me show you what I mean. I also ordered all these. Sorry, I'm going to have to put you this way because I'm not closing those blinds. It's just too nice out. Speaking of blinds, Arlo broke our patio blinds. So I need to get new ones of those, which it's not a big deal. It's just like the little inserts fell out, so I need to get some new ones of those, but we made it almost a whole year. I got these little glass Tupperwares. I haven't used any of them yet because I already did meal prepped earlier this week. I'll use them next week. All right, so this is my prep. Let me, let me show you. We've got a thing of ground turkey or ground chicken, a bag of frozen rice from Trader Joe's, a can of black beans, some corn, and some butternut squash. The butternut squash and the corn were frozen. The rice I threw in frozen as well, and I cooked the meat first and then threw in some taco seasoning from Trader Joe's, and it's so good. I was gonna do sweet potato, but then I was like, I already have the rice. You could do sweet potato and do cauliflower rice as well. You could swap it up. Um, but I made this, and I have been loving it, and then I. So I microwave this and then I top it with some cheese and finish microwaving it so it melts. And then put a little bit of Greek yogurt on it for um, like sour cream. Yesterday I ate it with lettuce and I liked it a lot. So that's the nice thing is you can make this into tortillas. Like I have tortillas, I can make it into like tacos. I can make it into a salad or I can eat it plain, it's good. So that's why I liked it. And I was like happy with the idea of prepping it out. So I already have the lettuce already prepped out, but let's go ahead and microwave this and put it together because I'm too hungry to keep talking. So if you want to see a meal prep, let me know and I will do it next next week, this week, this coming weekend. Um, I just found that I wasn't making healthy decisions for lunch necessarily if I wasn't, if I waited till I was too hungry. So this is easier to be better. Um, and then for dressing, I just use this. Cause I like hot sauce. So fun fact, one of my like, not my first jobs, but before I had like a real job and I was still in high school, um, my first job was, job was cleaning dog kennels, like crap out of dog kennels. But my second job was working for my uncle. My uncle owns um, that taco shop in Batavia, if you're from the area. 
and we sold tacos at the Muck Dogs game in Batavia. And um, that's what I did. And I was always hungry, so I would eat just tortillas with hot sauce, and it was so good to me. So, it's all melted. You could also top this with guac if you wanted to. Then I just take, mix this guy up. Cause nobody likes any liquid on there. I literally don't even remember the last time I had legit sour cream. This just does it for me. So, yum. And that's it. That's what I've been eating for lunch. All right, one of you had suggested um, this little ring sizer guide thing, not specifically this one. This is one I got from Amazon that goes like on your ring because I cannot get this size any smaller because they said it would fall out. So I feel like this one was the most like concealed and I did cut it, but I felt like it wasn't enough. So let's cut it a little bit more and see how I feel about that. It was like too, too tight. So it just like pops on. Can you see back of your ring like that? Perfect. Awesome. That was such a big help. It does feel like awkward at first, but I think I'll get used to it and it'll be okay. Whew. All right. I've been running around like a crazy person. Look what I got in the mail. I'm so excited. I feel like you either love these or hate these. Um, they're the Sambas by Adidas. They're like, everyone's raving about them right now. But I've been on the like waiting list of like 17 different sites and I ordered them like a while ago and they just finally got here. If I can find them in stock, I'll link them down below. They're so cute and I wanted them for spring. And then just got some Amazon packages. Whew. And I ordered a new watch, which I'm pumped about. I've been wanting to order this for a minute now the Breda, Breda, Bredia, 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 Breda, 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 like Breda, but Breda. Um, I have been wearing my like MVMT one for years now and I still love it, but I wanted something a little bit different. Oh, cute. Oh, I love it. It's a little like fancier. I liked the face shape of it. And I still wanted mixed metals. This one's more like silver than gold because the whole band is silver, but the face is gold. I'm probably gonna have to check out some links, which I have a little thing for it. But it was, I've been wanting it for a while. And then like, you know, when you save stuff to your, like save for later at the bottom of your cart, you know what I mean? It will alert you if it goes on sale. And I think it had like a 30% off discount. So I was like, all right, now's the time. You can tell like a comparison. They're quite different. This one's a lot more dainty and this one's more like, I don't know, an everyday sort of watch. I love this one, but I also really love this one. So that's my new watch purchase. And then I also got Arlo a little, um, like a uh, plastic bed cover. literally just came home to open golf clubs and he's like facetiming his friend and they're like screaming like little girls downstairs like ah he's just look at that 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 never make my bed but cozy earth which i've heard about them from a oprah's april's oprah's um like top 10 things they this is on there this cozy earth brand and they do pajamas which are literally like the stretchiest coziest things they're bamboo 
think they're bamboo viscous spandex. They're so, so cute. So they sent me some pajamas and they also sent me this bed sheet. I decided to go with the color driftwood, I think is what it's called. I have white sheets, but I wanted something a little bit more soft. And this I just felt like really suited like our gray and it, I mean, it looks the same color as our floor, but I just love it and it is so freaking soft. So they didn't sponsor this. They just sent these over and offered a code for you guys. And I was like, heck yeah. So if you guys are looking for some new sheets, these are so dreamy, so nice. And I'm so excited to sleep on them. All right, so we've officially hit the time of day where I typically just like lose all my energy, which is four o'clock for me. And then I start to peak again, it's weird. It's like not a midday slump, it's like an end of the day slump, but then I kind of come back up once it's like 5.30, <laughs> bizarre. But anyway, I'm making this Kung Pao chicken. I'll link the recipe down below, but it is Brock Your Body on Instagram. She just posted it the other day and I figure let's give it a go. Um, I was between that or orange chicken, but we've eaten orange chicken quite a few times. So I figured let's do this one. So I will, like I said, link the recipe down below. I'm cooking the chicken in the air fryer, not on the stove top. It's just easier. Um, and then I'm also using chicken thighs instead of chicken breasts. So let's get started. First, I'm gonna make the salsa sauce. is blinding me but I just got back from my walk and I'm reading culpable or I'm reading I'm listening to the podcast culpable season two which I really enjoyed the first one <sighs> anyway it's pretty sad so keep that in mind I'm headed to pick up Arlo but first I'm gonna start some rice in the rice cooker oh my face is cold it's cold out there it's nice and sunny but it's so cold, but I feel like walking is the one thing, sorry, the sun is like killing me. Walking is the one thing that I feel like I'm having to work harder towards bringing it back into my life. A couple reasons, obviously the most obvious is that it's not warm here um, for the season and it's been a cold couple of months. So that's why I'm pushing myself every time when it is nice because for a while, I associated walking with um, dealing uh, or like sadness with my mom. And so just trying to get out of the, um, yeah, like literally I was, you know, I was um, diagnosed with depression um, and that's like the one thing that I'm trying to, that's I'm still working towards and kind of disassociating it with, um, with sadness and bringing it back to happiness because it used to be such a big joy in my life. Like it was my favorite part of the day. And so, um, yeah, just pushing myself, but it, it comes from like pushing myself with like, okay, so it's cold outside, but I'll just find a million reasons not to do it because I know it's brought me sadness in the past. So, um, yeah, just trying to work through it and thought I'd be open about it because um, I know it's weird how something that used to bring you such joy can bring you sadness even though it wasn't related at all. Um, so, yeah. Anyway, I'm probably gonna end off the vlog here. Um, just because I've been filming like a crazy person all day. But I will show you like a little insert clip or a picture at least, an insert clip of dinner because I'm excited about it. And let's go get little guy. I decided to put some cashews in there because I didn't have peanuts, some um, regular onion because I didn't have green onion, bell pepper, and um, green beans. Because my sauce all made up and like I said, I'm browning the chicken over here. <laughs> 